answering a few questions from my subscribers. I've gone through a couple of videos now. I'm going to probably make this into a playlist because there's a lot of questions here. And this is just from one subscriber. So y'all know what I go through. There's a lot of questions I get from Facebook, Instagram, email. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> no wonder I'm behind. I'm like three or four weeks or five weeks behind right now. I'll try to go through them. So if I haven't answered your email, it's because it's rough. Okay, it's rough on me. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back to answer this question. All right, so I've already done two of these videos now. The first one I did was on um, the systems analyst versus the business analyst. This person had um, actually graduated as a computer science and applied mathematics. And he liked the systems analyst role, but then he asked me, you know, which one is better, the systems analyst or the business analyst? And I gave him the answer in that video. And then he wanted to know, how will he know if he's going to be good as a business analyst? And I answered that over here in this video. So that's another one that would be helpful. And then he wanted to know basically, um, you know, what software tools you should be learning to do business analysis. And I answered that question in that video right here. So go watch it. And, you know, then you can come back to this video, which is going to talk about another person he had, which was what are the most skills employers look for that you strongly recommend I acquire? And what is the best way to acquire these skills? So, what are employers looking for? I actually did a, a session with my mentorship group where we talked with a director at at and and a VP of technology, and we were asking them questions about what do you look for when you hire people? And one of the, the most important things that came out of that discussion was that employers are looking for people who are willing to, you know, to, 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 to jump around and come up with ideas. The last thing an employer wants is to ask a question and then everybody's sitting down looking like, uh, I don't know, like being willing to, to innovate, to be creative, to come up with ideas, to find a solution, like like go-getter kind of personality. It's not as much about the certification because certification gives you a false sense of of knowledge. Like it, it, it represents that this person is well-versed, but it's not really true, right? Because the person's attitude is really what's going to determine um, how good they perform in a job. So it's your attitude that people are trying to pick up on, your 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 fit to the organization, right? How how well you fit um what they're trying to to accomplish. So I would say that it makes sense to be a go-getter. Like your attitude is going to be very important over your experience. Of course your experience is coming into play. But when you go to the interview, they're not looking at your experience as much. You already made it to the interview, that's all your experience does. When you get to the interview, it's about your personality. How can you shine? How can you show them that you're going to learn as fast as you can? You're going to come up with ideas. You're going to help them with things. How, how do you, how do you, you know, show that? And so the skill I would say would be your communication skills, how you communicate what you're trying to do and your analytical skills to show that you're thinking through the problems. A lot of this is going to come with experience. I'm sorry to tell you, it's going to come with experience, but part of it is just attitude. Attitude plays such a hard and important role that people don't play. They think they all they need is this paper, paper, paper. But if your attitude is how you portray yourself, it's how you speak, learning the words, the terms that speak to people who are looking for business analysts is very important. So you have to really absorb business analysis terms by watching videos of people who are business analysts, listening to podcasts that talk about business analysis topics, just en en engrossing yourself in the environment. And as you hear a new term that you don't know, go research, go find it, go go, go figure out how it works, ask somebody, you know, get out there. You're already doing it because you emailed me, right? You watch my videos, you emailed me. So you're doing all of it, but you just need to be able to Communicate that when you get into an interview and show your enthusiasm, show your willingness to learn because they know you don't have experience. But they want to know how how willing are you to be an asset to them, to add value to them? How are you able to, having no experience, 
don't know anything about the, the company, how are you going to get up to speed quickly? And if you can kind of answer those questions and just show that you're thinking through processes, or you just have to show the right thinking. And this is going to come with practice. Practice interviews. Look at interview questions and see what the questions they ask. And by you, you know, engrossing yourself in business analysis world, the terms, listen to the podcast, the YouTube channels, the documents, reading the books, doing the case study. I talked about before doing the case study with the software tools. All that stuff that you're going to do is going to build your confidence. And when you have that confidence, you're going to go into the interview. You're going to have the skill to communicate that. And I think that's one of the, big, the biggest skills you can have, which is being able to communicate your confidence in the business analysis job and explain your way through. You just need to be able to show them that you're thinking in the right way. Um, hope that helps. See you guys in the next video. We'll answer the next question in this long list. <laughs> see you over there in one minute. Okay, one minute. Just jump right over to that video. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs>